Down here in New Orleans, people love to eat crawfish, but did you know that crawfish and insects are both arthropods? Hi, I'm Chris, and in this webisode of The Real Wild Animals of New Orleans, it's a bayou battle in the kitchen. GWE challenges GW Finn's Chef Tinney in an arthropod throwdown. From uptown New Orleans to downtown in the French Quarter, meet the real wild animals of New Orleans. Brought to you by Audubon Nature Institute. Chef Tenny Flynn is one of New Orleans' premier chefs. We made a, a crawfish dumpling, which is a version of our signature dish we do at GW Finn's, our lobster dumpling. We just made it with local Louisiana crawfish. He's facing off against Audubon bug experts Zach and Jamie. It's team GWE, geeky wacky entomologists. The dish du jour is savory cicada shish kebabs. Yep, you heard it right, cicadas. There's a sauce that I developed a long time ago, which is a Dijon soy butter. And it's about a one to one to one ratio of those three things. And as I like to say, it tastes good on anything that ever drew breath or grew roots. So I knew that if I had a good sauce and a good bug, which cicadas are, I'd be doing all right. A hungry crowd looks on as the chefs bake and boil their arthropods to perfection. A team of judges warm up their taste buds as the smell of victory floats through the air. Oh man, wow! But wait, the pressure of the competition is getting to Zach. He tries to get brownie points with the crowd by rapping. Hit it! Yo, check it out, now listen to me, gonna tell you all about entomophagy. Why eat bugs? Well, you know they're nutritious, and if you fix them right, they're also delicious. I'm the Cajun bug chef from New Orleans, and we knows how to cook, if you knows what I mean. This chunk wants a challenge? I'll take it. You see, I'm the number one chef at this anniversary. Oh! Chef Tenney stays on course. The real taste test will determine the winner. I really like the cicadas. The first one, I didn't think it was as yummy because I didn't eat it with all the stuff. That's why I didn't think it was as yummy. But once I ate it with all the stuff, those two, the, my two other times, it was yummy. So who'd you vote for? Chef Timmy, because I liked his stuff super good. The crawfish dumplings were excellent. That, that was really good too. But I voted for the cicada. I was pleasantly surprised at how good it was. You can eat those like popcorn fourth quarter, you know, uh, uh, have them out for your friends and uh, eat them, you know, watching a football game. They would be drinking enough, they wouldn't even know what you had in front of them. They just think they were peanuts or something like that, you know? I mean, just a sucker for something new and novel. And, you know, we have a lot of crawfish dishes here in New Orleans, and it was kind of neat to try something new. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a mixed bag. It's we a mixed bag. We may have bag. to do a hard count. I think we may have to count. Keep them up. I was really surprised at you know how how close the popular vote was. Of course, I feel sure that I won, but uh, you know time will tell. The, the judges uh, the judges will decide, I guess. There are three judges. Designer Chet Porcho. Oh, um, I've eaten some pretty bad food, but bugs, not. Food editor Judy Walker and meteorologist Hank Allen. I gotta know, who'd you vote for? Show us. Actually, I voted for the cicadas today. Really? Yes, I did. And one of the reasons why I voted for the cicadas today was because I liked the different levels of the cicadas on the shish kebab. I think it had a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory, and a little bit of saltiness. And I think when you let all those unfold on your, on your tongue, I think it came out really great. I think he did a great job of executing this dish. Well, I am going to vote for the crawfish today. Oh, the creaminess of it and the beautiful way. It's like the perfect amount of filling in the dumpling. It's just, it's just wonderful. It was a wonderful dish and it was beautifully executed as well. We've got a tiebreaker, folks. A moment of truth. Hank, who did you vote for in today's competition? All valid points by my comrades made before me. I am going to... Uh... I'm gonna go with the cicada. So the cicada wins. So why did why did you go for that one, Hank? You know, it's it's like we were discussing earlier. 
the, the crawfish was phenomenal. I would certainly go and order that in a restaurant. You know, you come in here, you look at the bowl of cicadas, and you say, are we actually going to eat these? And then you take a bite of them, and, uh, you know, he combined the sauce. The sauce was an outstanding flavor on top of it with the asparagus. And it was a really mild flavor overall. And I thought, you know, this is a pretty good bug to eat at the Insectarium for the cook-off. And again, the, you know, you expect the, the crawfish dish from him to be outstanding, and it was. But uh, I had to go with the cicada. It was awesome. Zach did a great job. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm excited as heck, you know. Uh, I, I like it when bugs take, take top honors in anything other than being annoying, right? So, um, yeah, it, I mean, it's very cool. It's very cool. And I, and I think I had some pretty sophisticated palates amongst those three judges, so. To sample some arthropod dishes for yourself, visit GW Fins in the French Quarter and stop by Bug Appetit during your next visit to the Audubon Butterfly Garden and Insectarium. And who knows, if you try it, you just might like it. I'm Chris, and these have been some of the real wild animals of New Orleans. I'll see you next time.